Now, a few of you may be familiar with the movie The Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah? Well, me and the Lord, we've got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. And if you remember that movie, you'd know that the theme was to get the band back together. Now, I like this theme for us because I think it applies a lot to the idea of working together. We know that we all have our own individual talents and strengths and abilities. And just like a band needs all the different parts and instruments to fit together just right to truly make the message sound good, we too need every one of you. It's like the penguin says, we got to make that move towards redemption. We got to go to church. We are all our own instrument. We are all our own musician. On our own, we sound okay. And sometimes we may like to play on our own. But when we're brought together, when we share and we belong and we work with one another just as we were made to, we can make beautiful music together and share the song of Christ with all the world. We are on a mission from God to love one another, to share together, to belong together, to work together, and as we'll talk about in just a second, to suffer together. We are a band of brothers and sisters in Christ, and when we learn to love each other, we can truly get the band back together. Now our fourth level of fellowship is the fellowship of suffering together. Galatians 6.2 says, Share each other's troubles and problems, and in this way obey the law of Christ. When you serve together, you do your part. But when you suffer together, you share your heart. Now we're all going to go through hard times in this life. Some of you may be even going through a tough time just as I speak tonight. But I want you to know, you're not alone. And you weren't meant to be because you were formed to be part of God's family. We, as the body of Christ, are all one body, which means that we're never alone. If one member suffers, all suffer together. 1 Corinthians 12, 26. You're never alone. The idea of suffering together means that there's always someone there to comfort you. There is always someone in your family to help make it better, and to remind you that you are forgiven and that you are loved. There's a song that says, I'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. The sinners are just more fun. Good song, bad theology. It's actually an honor to be able to suffer with the saints, to be able to suffer with your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, because just as Christ suffered for you, you too can suffer for your fellow man. There is honor in being able to bear the weight of someone's sorrow because that means that you are helping to make a better tomorrow for them. Tomorrow is the promise of eternal life. Tomorrow is forgiveness. And in Christ, there is always forgiveness. Therefore, be devoted to each other like a loving family. That's Romans. You are called to be together. So suffer together. Share your burdens with one another. And find the comfort in belonging to one another. And then while you're working with each other, you can help to make everyone's life a little bit easier by reminding them how much God loves them in suffering with them. We know what real love is because Christ gave up his life for us, and so we ought to give up our lives for our Christians, our Christian brothers and sisters. 1 John 3.16 
Everyone knows John 3.16, but 1 John 3.16 ain't bad either. So tonight as you talk in your groups, I want to encourage you to truly go out of your comfort zone and to share with one another, to feel that sense of belonging, to work together for a common good, to learn something valuable tonight. And don't be afraid to suffer with each other, because just as Christ suffered for us, we can suffer with our fellow brothers and sisters. Let's begin with a prayer. Dear Lord, I ask that you would bless this time tonight and that you would send your spirit to work in the hearts of all those involved. Please give us wisdom and comfort and assure us of your love. We know that we were formed to be part of your family and in your family, we know that we truly belong. In your name we pray, amen. So have a good time tonight and enjoy your discussion. I'll see you in a bit.